so this is um this video is gonna be called um adding fractions now this is what you've been given for homework well my class uh, my class has been given some homework like adding fractions and adding fractions and the next one you're gonna be seeing is called um s subtracting fractions but this one will be called adding fractions let's pick that um so okay so here's our first net here's our first problem of adding fractions so Two six plus one six. So we're going to uh, only add the top number. I think it's called the numerator. Um. So. So I. So here's a hint. What is two plus one? And two plus one is. Is three. So, the bottom number is still going to be the same. So. I'm gonna put six on the bottom. Now, now let's do the top number. Then you have to add. So, two plus one is three six. So the same thing as three six uh, is one half. But I'm pretty sure it's three six because two six plus one six is three six. Okay, so here's our next problem. 100 over 200 plus 1 over 200. So, so I'm going to put the bottom number. I think it's still going to be the same. But the top one, I think I told you this earlier. The top one, you have to add. So, 100 plus 1 is... So if you add 1 from 100, what answer would that be? Of course, it would be 101 over 200. Now, so, so adding, f uh, oh, never mind. So, I think this is our third problem. And our problem, our third problem, I think, is 4 8 plus 4 8. I think this is what we learned today, I think. Well, I'm not sure. Well, maybe yes. I can't remember. I think it was today. So, 4 8 plus 4 8 is um it's a whole so it's eight over eight eight over eight equals one um so so i think the bottom number is the denominator and the top number is the numerator so and it equals eight over eight it, which is equal to 1. Okay, now let's do... I think this is probably our fourth problem. So, 4, 6 plus 1, 6. And, of course, we have to put the same number as these two. Right here. Now, the reason why you have to do that is because when you're, like, multiplying fractions, of course, you have to change the bottom number. So, 2 third equals times 2 times 2 is 4 six. That, the bottom number has to change because you... Both numbers, the numerator and the denominator, you have to multiply them. Like, whatever number you're using. Let's say... 
I use two for the number I'm using to multiply. Like two times two equals four, and three times two equals six. Just to give you guys why a reason. Okay, so now we're gonna add these two numbers at the top. Now, 4 plus 1, I think you guys know that, that's easy. 4 plus 1 is what? So, I'm, I'm going to give you guys a hint. What? 5 minus 1 is 4. So, what is 4 plus 1 equals something? So, it's 4 plus 1 equals 5. That, you don't have to reduce. Okay, here's our last problem. Uh, so, five, our, our, our problem that we'll be solving is four, I mean, Excuse me, 515 plus 415. Now, um, oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, okay, 415 plus 5, I mean, 4, 515 plus 415. Of course, the bottom number will be the same. Uh, uh, so f now we have to add these two numbers, right here. You have to add these two numbers. So, uh, five plus four equals nine. Now our fraction is nine over fifteen. Watching. If you have any questions, just email me at jaden.nakao at gmail.com. And so that is how you do adding fractions.